क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी नाइन इन दिस क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन इज गिवन एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस पी एक्स प्लस क्यू इक्वल टू जीरो एंड इट इज गिवन दैट दिस इक्वेशन हैज बोथ रूट्स नेगेटिव माइंड इट बोथ रूट्स नेगेटिव एंड वी कैन सी दैट इट्स एक्स स्क्वायर कोविशन इज वन इट मीन्स दिस इज ऑलरेडी पॉजिटिव दिस इज ऑलरेडी पॉजिटिव सो दिस इम्प्लाइज दैट पी शुड बी ग्रेटर दैन जीरो एंड क्यू शुड बी ग्रेटर दैन जीरो because if a quadratic equation has both roots both roots negative then all the coefficient should be positive or all the coefficient should be negative and x square coefficient is already positive so p and q must be positive now it is asked that the roots of this equation roots of this equation are given alpha and beta and it is asked that relation alpha and beta what are alpha and beta now first of all if we find sum of roots alpha plus beta that is p product of roots alpha into beta that is minus q and we have already seen that p is positive if p is positive it means alpha plus beta is positive q is also positive but alpha beta is minus q so alpha beta that is less than 0 now alpha plus beta is positive alpha beta is negative sum of two quantities is positive and sum of two same quantity is positive and product of these two quantity is negative it means this is confirm that roots are of opposite sign first of all roots are of opposite sign it mean one root is positive and one root is negative now it is to decide that which root is greater in magnitude now look at this sum of two values is positive it means this is confirm that positive root positive root is greater in magnitude because sum of two quantities is positive either both quantities are positive or one quantity positive negative but product of these two quantities is negative so both quantity cannot be positive so one root is positive one root is negative now alpha plus beta is positive it means obvious that positive root is greater in magnitude so we can say alpha is positive beta is less than 0 and since this is greater in magnitude so we can say modulus of alpha according to options option number 3 alpha is positive beta is negative and we can say modulus alpha is also greater than modulus of beta since its magnitude is also greater than its magnitude so according to given options option number 3 is correct in which it is given that alpha is greater than 0 beta is less than 0 and magnitude alpha is greater than magnitude of beta Question number seventy. In this question, this is given that x y z equal to three raised to the power four multiplied by three raised to the power five multiplied by five raised to the power four multiplied by seven square. And it is asked that find the number of positive integral solution of this equation. First of all, we can write this equation x y z equal to this is three raised to the power nine. Multiplied by five raised to the power four, multiplied by seven square. Now look at this equation. This equation can be treated as that there are nine things of same kind, four things of second kind, two things of third kind, and we can say that we have to distribute nine identical things amongst three persons, where each person can have any number of things. Any number of things it means zero to nine. Zero is also permitted here because we are considering power. If this power three raised to the power zero, if this power this becomes three raised to the power zero, still this will become one, and that is also positive integral solution. So we can say we have to distribute nine identical things amongst these three persons, where each person can have any number of things: four things amongst these three persons, two things amongst these three persons. So we can say number of Integral solutions are first of all nine things are to be distributed amongst these three persons. So using n plus r, 
minus 1 C R minus 1, we can say this is equal to 9 plus 3 minus 1 C 3 minus 1 multiplied by 4 things. So, 4 plus 3 minus 1 C 3 minus 1 multiplied by 2 plus 3 minus 1 C 3 minus 1. So, number of solutions are this is 11 C 2, this is 6 C 2 and this is multiplied by 4 C 2. And if we simplify this 11 C 2 that is 11 into 10 upon 2 into 1, 6 into 5 upon 2 into 1, 4 into 3 upon 2 into 1. After solving this, the number of solutions are 6930. And according to given solution, there is no option which is having 6930. So, its correct answer option number 4 is correct, which is none of these. Right solution is 6930 integer solutions are there. So, fourth option none of these is correct. Question number 71. In this question, it is given that an unbiased cubic die marked with 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 and 3 is rolled 3 times. Find the probability of getting a total score of 4 or 6. Now, first of all, we can see that probability of getting 1, we can say 1 by 6. Probability of getting 2 on this dice, we can say 2 by 6. And probability of getting 3, that is 3 by 6. Now, this dice is thrown 3 times and find the probability of getting total score of 4 or 6. Now, if we form 1 by 1 cases, case number 1, total score 4, so possible possibility is 1, 1 and 2. Dice is thrown 3 times, so 1, 1 and 2. Now, a dice is thrown 3 times, we know these events are independent events. So, probability of getting 1 is 1 by 6, another 1 multiplied by 1 by 6, 2 multiplied by 2 by 6. Now, these 3 cases can be mutually arranged by, you know, by 3 factorial ways out of which 2 are same. So, multiplied by 3 factorial upon 2 factorial. Case number 2. Getting a total score of 4, there is only one case for 4. Now, next is 6. If rise is thrown 3 times for getting 6, we can say 1, 2 and 3. We can obtain. Probability of getting 1 is 1 by 6. Probability of getting 2 is 2 by 6. Probability of getting 3 is 3 by 6. And now again, these 3 cases can be mutually arranged by 3 factorial ways. Case number 3. We can also form this, a dice is thrown three, three, 3 times, so we can get 2, 2, 2 and on, on the throws. Probability of getting 2 is 2 by 6, another 2, 2 by 6, another 2, 2 by 6. Since these 3 cases are same, these can be arranged by only one way. So, 2 by 6 multiplied by 2 by 6 and multiplied by 2 by 6. So, total probability. So, total probability. If we solve this, this cancelled out this, 3 factor that is 6 cancelled, 1 upon 36, this 3 factor is 6 cancelled out, 6 cancelled, this is 1 by 6 and if we solve this, this is cancelled by this 3 times, this is 1 by 27 and if you solve this, this probability will come as 50 upon 216 and according to given options, option number 2 is correct.